Hey, what's up, y'all? Your boy blew up on her. And uh, I haven't had Kratom in a couple of days, a few days, maybe four. And uh, I just finally got some today. So uh, I don't know. I kind of feel a little trippy, to be truthful, you know, um, more than usual, you know. And I've been smoking some good weed, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just took my meds not too long ago, too. I don't know if they're mixing weird with my Kratom and my weed her. Like, hold on, let me hit the bowl. Mm, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, what's up, Mike? Hold on a second. Uh, I hope you join. Let me post the link real quick. <clears throat> yeah, but I just wanted to make a point clear that I have no problem with everyone turning their back on me. I have no problem with people coming in and out of my life. You know, you know how many people have come in and out of my life. You know, it always seems like I'm the matchmaker, too, or like, you know, people hear about people or get, you know, hook up uh, through me, you know. And like, I remember when I was a kid. I used to like have memorized, I used to know like everybody's number. And like, if anyone wanted to know a number, they just asked me. Oh, hey, what's up, Mike? What's good? What's good? There we go. Hey, That's what was that? Sorry, I had to uh, fix my mic. <clears throat> what up, Jimmy Juggalo? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Pook Ninja, what's up? Yeah, uh, yeah but no. Um, yeah, but uh, I've had so many friends come in and out of my life and just in with my uh, YouTube career in the past 13 years. What up, Tony? You freaking sexual deviant. I don't know. Just playing kidding. Um, let's not go there right now. Um, uh, yeah, but no, so many people. I mean, there's very few friends from back in the day. I still actually talk to once in a while, you know, Um if they're not dead from fucking heroin or some shit or locked up, I don't know. But yeah, I used to know a lot of people when I was a kid. And uh, like, and even as I got older, you know, it seemed like a lot of people would know me, but I wouldn't know them. Um, you know, even I remember in school, like people would say, hey, Fred in the hallway. And I'd be like, uh, hey, what's up? You know, like acknowledge them. Yeah. But like not have any idea who the fuck they were. You know, I'm not saying I was super popular or anything like that. But um, I mean, hey, I must be doing something right here. Thousands of followers on social media, you know, and all that stuff. Um, everybody is fickle, man. Hold on. Let me put this up. Everybody is fickle, man. I found that out the hard way in real life. Say you have 20 friends, only two or three are real. Rest are just along for the ride. Yeah, and using you. Yep, What's I would that, Mike? agree with that statement. Mike. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, what did you just say? No, I was just saying uh, that statement... You're I cutting out again. Green. I was just agreeing with. Oh, you were agreeing. Man. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've been on YouTube for over like almost 14 years now. Um, I can say. Um, but yeah, you know, and uh, people meet up, become friends, or even get in a relationship or something because they met through me. You know, I've been a matchmaker. You know, that's <laughs> just uh, um, like a tonic, for example. Um uh cyrax you know and many others over the years yeah you're tea painting oh, i'm tea painting bit. now okay i'm tea painting uh can you hear me now yeah can you hear me now mike i think it's on your end i think i probably sound fine yeah, it's on your you. end. um asshole yeah but no um 
Man, uh, yeah. So you know, I I am feeling some type of way about it. I can't lie. I am feeling some type of way about everyone turning their backs on me. You know, I mean, and they like a lot of them. These people, you know, are friends with one another because they met through me. You know, and it's just like I don't know. They might come back into my life at some point in the future or something. But you know, it seems like you know the trust will never be there again. You know what I mean? Like this one dude who called the cops on me back in the day, you know, I wanted to beat him up when I got out of jail and off probation. I wanted to fucking get right back on it by beating him up. And, uh, but I realized, you know, and he was my very best friend at one point, just like Skittles kind of was. And well, anyways, um, you know, I was in the wrong, you know, when he called the cops on me, I was being a drunken asshole. And I realized that and I, I forgave him and called him or hit him up on Facebook and was like, hey, man, I just wanted to apologize. All that good, happy shit, blah, 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 blah. Just like I did with the mother of my children, like after she broke up with me and whatever, like after I uh, cried for about a year, year and a half, I uh, talked to her, got a hold of her. I didn't even see my kids like when when she broke up with me, like I barely uh, or at least barely saw him for like a year. And I hit her up and I was like, I just want to um, apologize for treating you wrong to where you wanted to leave me, you know, because I am. I'm a fuck up. I'm a, I'm a worthless piece of shit. You know, I I, am, I, I make bad decisions. Uh, I don't think before I speak and act and do things, you know, but at least I'm not too bad of a fuck up. I'm not in jail right now, you know, and yeah, all that good happy shit. So um i just don't want to go back to drinking you know i was doing so good with the drinking and i i i know i disappointed myself i let a lot of people down i know mike you were mad at me for drinking that beer um but just, what's your opinion on this shit? no i mean i wasn't mad at you people make mistakes but it's just i was trying to encourage you to um uh, jump back on the soap wagon that's all yeah yeah i mean it was only one beer well the equivalent of two beers it was a 24 ounce so yeah um and and i didn't even want to drink anymore after that i was saving the other two for today for the next day and you you paid me to pour them out <laughs> so i was like okay that'll help me get weed tomorrow which it did I mean, but yeah, everyone, like a lot of people meet up through me and it's weird and I just make bad decisions, I guess. And, and I, I, your best bet would just be, don't fuck with me. Just go run far, far away. Cause I will fuck your life up. What's up, Tony? Now, if I'm not welcome, I'll leave. No, you're welcome. I didn't say I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about, oh, I know I meant in general. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You're always welcome on my panels. You know that, Tony. Yeah, well, I just wrote a message, and, and I don't think it came through. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me check my uh, chat. I have the chat open right here. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't have the chat open, actually. Do I? No. Hold on. I'm sorry. Um, because, yeah. Oh, I have to approve. You know, it, it holds comments sometimes it, it's not even vulgar or anything and it'll just hold it for review you know sorry about that all right give me a minute here let me look yeah, at something i'm i'm um, loading up the chat now and i'm getting there yeah but no anyways um yeah and people are so you know the internet is so crazy it's trigger culture and it's cancel culture people will blow shit way out of proportion you know what i mean like <laughs> it's fucked up how people will just you know run your name through the mud and shit you know what i'm saying when you thought they were good friends at one point you know juggalo family and all that good happy shit you know um i forget what i was doing oh yeah the chat uh so yeah, people are trying to run me off. You know how many people have trying to run me off of YouTube in the past 13 years? Since the very beginning. <laughs> you know, I'm not going anywhere, fam. Um, so, uh, Fear Factory, your only reason why I'm out of hiding is because I'm denouncing and supporting 
uh, the Bender Boys, Studio 17, Tonic and Sales, and everyone else that I forgot. Yeah. I'm no longer supporting you guys. I mean, you attack Blue for... You attack Blue. And another thing, Blake, a.k.a. Not Slim One, do you realize that the Juggalo community is much bigger than you? So for you to tell me to get the fuck out of the Juggalo community, no, bro. The only way that you can do that, Blake, is if Shaggy 2 Dope and Violent J personally tells me to get the fuck out of the Juggalo community. Not you, not the Bender Boys, not, not Violent George, not Lord Zero, but you know, so there you go, Blake. Yeah, exactly. If you were guilty of something, you would be in jail. You know, this has been going on for a couple of weeks now. You know what I mean? And they don't play around with that shit. If you were some kind of kitty fiddler or something, you they they would have the authorities would have, you know. Uh, no, nope. nope. I have got I have got no calls from the authority fear factory. Nope. The authorities have not have been in contact with me. Mm -hmm. At all. No, nope. nope, Fat Scott. I'm not in jail. So. Surprised. Hmm. Has your grandmother said anything about it? Uh, no, because she doesn't know about it. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't need to know about it because that would just be in her, that would be getting her involved. And she has nothing to do with this. It's all on me. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. so, I got Mike. a question. Um, now a lot of people were throwing the teen porn accusation at you. Would you say that 18 and 19 fit in the category of teen porn? Did you catch uh, that? No, and no. it's just a, a misconception of what's going on here. Yeah, because when you are, uh, 18, I was just curious. Uh, yeah, you're an adult, uh, Blake. So. You don't have my grandmother's number, Blake. Hmm. Just ignore the trolls, Tony. I don't think yeah, you did I know. anything, man. I think they just blew things mm. out of proportion. Yeah, I know. That that's just my perception of it. It's yeah, just I like know, Blue said. I mean, if they culture. opened a case on you, uh, you would have been notified by now, I'm sure. Right. So like everyone in here saying they called the cops on you and stuff like that, then why aren't they doing anything? Yeah, I know. No shit. Now, I will admit that last Saturday, I did have the cops show up because I was disturbing the peace. And yes, the one of the gals from the um the the um office that owns this did um call me and contacted me. And I explained to her the situation. Sorry, that wasn't me. Um, where was I, Blue? Um, shit, I forgot my... Oh, she was asking me about what happened. And um, I was telling, explaining to her what happened. And she's like, oh, so basically you got rid of them? And I said, yeah, pretty much. So, yeah. What? Well, I mean, not slim one. I mean, it's the case. I mean, 18, that's teen porn, 18, 19. Is that what we're talking about here? Or are we actually talking about like 14, 13 year olds? Like, what, what, where's the uh, sliding scale there on these accusations? Blue, you want to tell Michael what's going on? I'm sorry. Okay. I just um, got back. Um, you don't know what's going on, Mike. Uh, apparently, he, Tony here, 
Um, how long ago do you say you had when you were uh, when you acquired these pictures? How long ago? About seven to ten years ago. Seven to ten years ago, uh, Tony was talking with a friend on the internet, and they gave him uh, pictures. Um, would you say were they legal pictures, Tony? I don't know what their age was. Blue. Well, how old did they look? How old did did, did they look? Yeah. They look like they were like in their like, like mid to late teens, Blue. Mm hmm. So he was just sharing nudes with you, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Mm hmm. Like, and that's very common um, with uh, young males. Um, right. Uh, yeah. How they, old were you, you when know, this happened? Uh, I would say about my mid, mid to late. Mid to early, mid to early thirties. Oh, so barely legal. How Joe Country you Boy now? says. So you, I'm you like, thirty six. You I'm like barely, months. you like barely legal Catholic schoolgirls or something, right? I. It didn't matter, Blue. It didn't matter to me. Mm hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Um, if that's the real big look, yeah, that, that's what oh, I was sorry, getting Mark. at, Joe okay. Country. Well, I, I think they were over 18, but they were, uh, I, I didn't know the term, but yeah, barely legal would be the term, I guess. I don't look at porn like that, so I don't know all mm. the terms, but yeah. Hmm. Being a goof in his 30s. What's wrong with being a goof? Apparently, I'm a, a goof is uh, isn't allowed in the juggalo community. That's mm. what Blake said. Because he's like Tony, get the fuck out of the juggalo community. Mm -hmm. So, seventeen. Yeah, in certain states, like I um, looked up uh, Delaware's um, age of consent. And uh, it's perfectly legal for 16 or 17 year olds to have sex with up to a 30 year old, I guess, on either side, you know, male or female. Um, so. I don't know. Well, and it differs in every state. It differs, um, you know, and that's weird. You know, like laws should be the same, like all across the country. Like, I don't know why, like one thing is legal in one state and you go in the other or if you cross state lines and act of a crime and you get like uh, it's federal or something. Um, but yeah, you know, you're not going to find Tony on no, he's not a sexual uh, fucking uh, sex offender. You're, you won't find Tony on any websites like that. Will they, Tony? Is Tony still here? What was that, Blue? Oh, they're not going to find you on any sexual fucking registry websites, are they? No, no, they're not. No. So anything... Now, my friend... Now, Courtney did message me and ask me what my friend's name was, and she looked into it, and yes, he is on the registration. I'm not, though. I'm sorry, did you just say Randy's on the registration? No, I said Courtney. Who's Courtney? I said I gave Courtney my information on my friend, and she looked him up, and he was on the registration. The guy who gave you these pictures? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. And he's in prison. I think he's in prison for 23 to life, I I believe. Wow. So, yeah. Okay, well, that, that doesn't look good for your case here, Tony. So he's in jail for um, pedophilic pictures and shit, right? Or did he rape no, someone? No, he did something far worse than that. What did he do? He raped he them. No, yeah, he select sexually molested and raped uh, two underage girls in the state of Wyoming. Wow. And he is in prison for 23 to, 23 to life. Hmm. 
Okay, so well, you didn't go down with them, apparently. Well, no. Um, so I don't know. I'm at a loss for words. Um, yeah, if you were guilty, the cops would have did something. You know, they would have investigated it. They would have went to your grandmoms and got this supposed hard drive and all that <clears throat> and checked it. Yeah, and well, the only reason why I would have gotten caught is if I was still on my computer looking at that shit. And mm. after we moved, we packed up everything. And Donna just said that there was no room for the computer. And I was like, well, wait a minute. Let me let me get the hard drive and and you can just throw away the rest. And my aunt was like, well, can, can you get the hard drive in properly? And I'm like, yeah, I'll like all I need is my tool kit and I got my tool kit and I took out the hard drive and the, and the little fan that's attached to it. And then, uh, I told Donna, okay, I'm, I'm ready. And she threw away the PC, mm -hmm. including the monitor. Mm -hmm. But you still have the hard drive. Yes. I still have the hard drive. Yes. <laughs> So, I mean, all these people that are literally probably calling your local police department and talking about this shit. Um, you know, the cops came to your house, you know, last week, you know. Yeah, and because I was, yeah, they came, o came over because uh, apparently I was um, disturbing the peace. You were and disturbing. That's why, yeah, okay. and that's why they were called by I didn't let them, I told the gal uh, yesterday that I didn't let them in because if they would have, if I would have let them in, I would have probably been in jail because once I get to that level, I kind of black out. And uh, so that's why I didn't let them in that night. Mm -hmm. But no. And apparently Bombshell called the authorities and they have yet to call her back, which I believe they're not going to call her back because this is just, you know, plain bullshit because, you know, I don't go on the dark web for these pictures. I went on Google and searched for these pictures. Mm -hmm. Now, hold on. What did you Google the pictures or did he give them to you? B both. He, Oh, well, I go okay. some pictures I Googled, some pictures he gave me. Oh, okay. Okay. And, <laughs> and I mean, like, it's not like you could even get a hard one. No. Um, no. You know, all you can, all you really have is fantasies. Right, exactly. You know. And that, that's why I feel for you, fam. Yeah, well, all I can say is fuck Studio 17, fuck the Bender Boys, and fuck Tonic and Sales. Uh, I agree. Um, I totally... Uh, and uh, everybody I, else. Yeah. I forgot. I co-sign. I co-sign that. I don't know about Tommy James yet. Tommy James? Um yeah, I don't know who Tommy Road is in the chat, but Tommy James, I, I think, is cool. Uh, maybe Juggalo927. He's always about positivity. Um, yeah, well. You know. Yeah, I was on his stream the other day, just chopping it up. I'm sorry, whose stream? Uh, what, what's the numbers on the Juggalo? Oh, Juggalo972. Yeah. I forget the order of the numbers. 79. Yeah. We were just talking about uh, the different Joker's cards and just nothing really drama related. Just, you know. Just normal yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's Red Hood. Oh, yeah, Red Hood's cool Red with Hood. you. Red yeah, Hood's I cool know. Likes you. I know. Well, there are certain people that I'm not mentioning because I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Like I, uh, I had people hitting me up like, 
at first they were like, hey, I still support you. I'm just not going to say anything in your chat because people would feel some kind of way. I'm like, oh, yeah, OK, OK, whatever. And then so then they hit me up after Skeletor does another video. Someone hits, hits me up and says, I'm sorry, I cannot support you anymore. Blah, 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 blah. You know, and oh, man, it's just it's fucked up. But yeah, I have no problem cutting all of these people out of my life. Yeah. Did you see my video with uh, Warlord's uh, picture he sent me? Yeah, I saw oh, it. That was pretty cool. Painting. Warlord, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a cool painting. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot to tell you, Blue. Guess what happened Thursday? What's that? Uh, well, I don't know if you don't. I don't know if you believe in um, uh, mediums or not, Blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I'm a little on the fence about it because there's a lot of people that are fake. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I went to a, 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 a mystic shop today, or not today, last Thursday, and um, I talked to Sue, and Sue was like, oh, boy. You know, she's like, you've got a really high, high energy. Mm -hmm. And um, so she was like, let me get Paul, our, our psychic. Well, <laughs> I got into talking to Paul and yeah, Paul said, yep, what you've got is you've got a dragon, a very powerful one. All right, hold on. Was this before you mentioned anything about dragons? What what do you what do you mean? Like did you tell this person you had to think for dragons first? Uh no, I told them everything. And then they confirmed that you have a dragon inside you? Yes, I yes, he did say I do have a very powerful dragon, yes. Wow, the spirit of a dragon. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see that Rick and Morty episode with the dragons? You know, I, Rick and Morty, I've only seen a couple episodes of Rick and Morty. And honestly, to me, I'm not a fan of it. Oh, man, I love it. I own all the seasons. Um, man, Tony, we can't beef now, fam. Why? Because you don't like Rick and Morty, fam. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just well, kidding. I guess they're either way. Uh, Blue, I, I do got to get off here, dog, so I hate to cut this short on you, man. All right, that's I, cool. I got to eat dinner and shit like that and take care of some errands and shit. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. All, All right, right, Mike. Um... So what have you been doing with your spare time? Playing video games? Pretty much staying away from everybody. Those that want me on their panel can let me on there. If not, fuck them. I know mm -hmm. I'm blocked from Tonic's uh, panels. Mm -hmm. So if Tonic wants to believe the Fender Boys and, and Studio 17, let them believe it. But, you know, yeah. Mm, but, no, nope, the only, the only uh, reason why the authorities were called was because I was disturbing the peace. That was it. What were you doing? I like was yelling. Music? You were no, yelling? No, I was, yeah, I was yelling. And the neighbors called the cops? Yeah. Nuh-uh. Yes, they did. I thought it was the trolls from... No. Nope. Nope, the neighbors call the cops. Oh, so so you're in a in in an apartment with thin walls is what you're saying. Yeah, pretty much. I was just thinking about the other day. I did a YouTube video where I was yelling at the top of my lungs and all the neighbors probably heard it and thought, what the fuck? Well, yeah. Back in the day when I uh stayed with my baby's mama. That's funny. Um, I uh, Tommy, I am getting help.
Yeah, Tommy, I am getting help. Yeah, on matter of fact, I got um, somebody sponsoring me at church. Blue. You can call them anytime. Yep, yep, yep. Mm hmm. So. So you're trying to be a better Christian, is what you're saying. Yeah, that's why I've been going to church. Mm hmm. But these numpties want me to get like psychiatry, you know, like professional help. And it's like, no, I am getting help. Hey, you know, Tony, you guys got it, you know. Maybe Maybe they're right, though. You can just do Zoom and you can do it from home. You don't have to go to the place more than likely. No, nah, I i don't trust psychiatry anyways. Do you take meds for, like, being crazy? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's not very Christian. Um going to see mystics and psychics and stuff oh, like no, that. The I, Bible I just, speaks out against that. No, I, I know, but I just wanted ant questions. Blue. That that's all I wanted was You're curious. Questions. Yeah, I wanted to know if this was actually legit. And yes, it was legit. And I haven't been there since. Uh, big man Steve, please don't um, spam. Big man Steve, you just posted the same thing twice. <clears throat> or, no, oh, whoa, okay, so there he goes. I'm going to straight up block that person. Because if I just time him out, when, uh, he'll just do the same thing when he, uh, after five minutes, and that'll be anno that's annoying. I mean, for I a while. Think there. He, I don't <clears throat> think he gives a shit. I think mm -hmm. he just he he's believing what other people he's hearing, and you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm done unblocking people and giving them a second chance to come back and give me more views and add revenue and hoopla watch time. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm tired of doing that, so I'm keeping people banned indefinitely. Good. Yeah, you got to choose the dragon or follow Christ, Tony. Sean is making a very good point. Yeah. I agree with that. I mean, but dragons do predate um, Christianity, don't they? No, maybe not. Yes, I'm, yes, they do. Do they? Yes, they predate, yes. They were here long before, you know, Christ and... I don't think there's a dragons in the Bible. There's a unicorn. There's unicorns in the Bible. Well, they, they say that Lucifer is a. Snake. Oh, that's right. Revelation. Yeah. The, the, yep. And Revelation. Yeah. They say that Adam or um, Lucifer tempted. Both Adam and Eve to eat the apple. And when the thousand years are ended, Satan will be released. Okay. Um, oh, there it is. Uh, Isaiah 27, 1. In that day, the Lord with his hand and great and strong sword will punish Leviathan, the fleeting, the fleeing serpent, Leviathan, the twisting serpent, and he will slay the dragon that is the sea that is in the sea rather i'm sorry um and that great dragon was thrown down that ancient oh, i'm sorry revelations 12 9 and that great dragon was thrown down that ancient serpent who was called the devil and satan the deceiver of the whole world he was thrown down to earth and his angels were thrown down with him so yeah man the, the bible implies that dragons are evil so um, right Sean, well well then how come this? How come Lucifer came to me and and he's told me to join his army? 
And I specifically told him, I would rather have my hands in blood than to serve you. Mm -hmm. That's basically a notation to fuck you. I'm not joining your army. Are you going to get that's a good question, uh, Joe? Um, it, Joe, that, that, that hard drive is not in my possession. Mm -hmm. And so, you, didn't, you didn't say anything to your grandmom about it? No, no. Okay. Hmm. Man, it has been really crazy on YouTube the past few weeks. Yeah, tell me about it. Hold on, Blue. Give me one second here, all right? What, you got a call? No, I got to do something for a minute. All right. Mm. Oh man, maybe I should play a couple commercials real quick. Hey everyone, Shoe Nice again. Well, basically, this cameo was booked for me to congratulate and shout out the boy Blue Nine 1982 for being just a legend. His show, Juggalo Drama Art, Drama Alert, is no joke. Check it out. Either way, me and Fred Spezio, love you, bro. Thank you. All right, I don't want anyone to leave, but just a warning. I'm going to play my song, my rap, but when I see Tony come back, I'm going to stop it. So I'm just trying to kill time here. I don't know what to talk about. Fuck everybody. You can't stop me. I'm insane like some sort of clown posse. You can't top me, so you can just hop up off me. I'll be fucking yeah, yeah, taking sides yeah, and it's yeah, obvious. Yeah. You're weak-minded because when it comes down to the problem, Tony, you're back. You're back. Yeah. Okay. Good sorry deal. about that. Good deal. What did you just have to put your suppository in? No, I just had to wipe it. <laughs> oh, you're sitting on the John uh, right Blake, now. Blake, I'm not clueless. You're I on think the John you're again. Blake. I think you're clueless because you know nothing about the fucking law. I do. And eventually, karma will come towards you in full circle, Blake. I'm not even live on Juggalo Drama Alert right now. Oh, you're not? No, nah, I'm on my main channel. Oh. I could have made like a dollar in ad revenue if I went live over there. <laughs> nah, fuck it. No, Blake, good luck with that. I've done nothing but good. Blake, you're the one that's been doing shit. Hey, Blue, do I go to your trauma alert show? I'm sorry, what? You want to go on your uh, drama alert or you want to stay here? Well, if I go live on the Juggalo drama alert, I'm going to play this part of my uh, show earlier where CPN joined. If you would like to join and we can watch it together, we can do that. Uh, and if anyone well, wants to join, you, you, know, you want drama on your channel or what? Well, if we're, I mean, well, we can do a different show. I won't play the CPN show. 
Um, Cause I was hoping to get a hold of CPN to uh, continue our conversation that we were having earlier. Um, but uh, okay, let hold on. Just give me a moment and I will set up a drama alert. So. You want me to hop off or you want me to wait here? You can just wait for me here. Okay. I'm gonna be a minute. Um, so you're definitely coming to the Juggalo drama alert. Yes. Either way. Dang. Huh. You have no idea what evil is, Blake. No you idea. You can summon a thousand demons at any given moment. No, no. I'll just let karma run its course. Mm-hmm. Blake will get his desserts tenfold one mm -hmm. of these days. Mm -hmm. Just you watch. Mm -hmm. uh, Blake, you cannot kick me from the Juggalo community. Blake, the mm -hmm. Juggalo community is much bigger than the Bender Boys, than the than Bloated Kiki, Control Allah. Hold on, let me stop you right there. Bloated Kiki is not a Juggalo. Oh, my bad. He'll tell you that himself. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but he's... Blake's just a small... a small plankton. Because mm -hmm. the Juggalo community is the whole world. Mm -hmm. And for Blake to tell me to get the fuck out of the Juggalo community, yeah, good luck. Mm -hmm. What the fuck am I doing? Hold on, I can do it right from this fucking street. Oh my god, I'm high. Hold on. <laughs> uh... I'm not going to prison. University, so good luck with that. I was setting up a whole nother show. Hmm. Do you read the Bible at all, Tony? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. John gave me John gave me a book that I'm starting to read. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh, you're starting to read. Um, uh, what would you say? A different book or the Bible? A different book. Like, what is it, Left Behind or something? No, I can't remember what it is. All I know is the front page has got um, some water triplets. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, shit. All right, everyone, we're switching over to the Juggalo Drama Alert show. Um, hold on, I can probably get you a link here real quick. All right, I'm ending my main channel. I'm going over to Juggalo Drama Alert. <laughs> 